in our use case diagram, which is an example from a practical guide to SysML, we're going to show you how to create a sequence diagram. So we will select one of our use cases, such as initialize system, and then we can right click on that and go to create diagram, and then come down here to select sequence diagram. So now what we've got is we got a blank sequence diagram. If we go back, we now see that rake icon. So if we double click, it will highlight us or hyperlink us to the sequence diagram and we can start to add our lifelines. So our lifelines are going to be the surveillance system and the advanced operator from the highest level perspective. So if I just find the advanced operator in my con containment tree, I can just drag that on here, drag the surveillance system on here, and then I can start to create messages. So let's just say there's a message from the advanced operator to the surveillance system. I could put a signal or an operation there. I'm just going to name it, uh, turn on, and and then I will add a message to self and I will name that turning on and then I'll have a reply message that says uh, the status of the uh, initialization so I'll name that and there you go we've created a sequence diagram from our use case diagram now you can go into the initialized system use case and you can actually see the sequence that we've created. So here it is with all of our messages that we added within our containment tree. We hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and check out our other use case videos.